Hi guys, it's George again uh, from Optics Warehouse, uh, back again with another FAQ video. Uh, had a good response off the last one, had a few more questions, so thought I'd answer them. Uh, again, if you guys could like, subscribe, comment down below, be really appreciated. So, on with the questions. What magnification for hunting slash night vision? So, what I'm going to assume they mean there is... So what magnification are you going to be hunting with, with a day optic? My experience, nothing more than 10, uh, to or typically. Uh, if you look at a lot of fixed power hunting scopes, they all tend to be the six times or eight. Um, and other popular options with variable magnifications are six, uh, four to 16s, three to 12s, something in that. Uh, to work with night vision, I'm assuming they mean a rear add-on unit uh, with something like PARD NV007 or the Cytong HD66s. Um, realistically, as you increase that mag, the image does suffer because less light's getting let into it. And so you can go up to 10 at a push, but the image quality is not really that usable. So I would say realistically around six. Uh, it's going to be a good balance. Um, also as well, your field of view does narrow. So um, that is to, especially if you're doing things like ratting and stuff like that, you want a nice wide field of view because you know, they run from side to side quite quickly. So having a wide field of view usually means lower mag, lets you see where they are um, a little bit easier and makes scanning that bit better. So I hope I've answered that one all right for you. All right, what's the next question? Shot placement with air guns. Bit of a controversial one. If you can, obviously it's hunting. It never, well, it, at some point it will not go 100%. Headshots are always gonna be the cleanest kill. But from personal experience, I have headshot rabbits and not killed them. And so it's, trying to get it directly, you know, just behind the eye, straight through the um, the brain to do it. With 2-2, you can chance body shots up close, but you are always gonna be safest with headshots. Obviously, you know, as I said, it's hunting, it's not killing, it's hunting. And so, you know, things can go wrong in the field, you pull the shot, sudden breeze moves it it happens unfortunately um, in those situations it's a case of you know either set a reset if you've missed completely it's just hopefully it hasn't run away and you can just reset take a second shot if you have done something where you've winged an animal you know it's just getting sorting yourself up as quickly as possible so you can humanely dispatch it so i hope i've answered that one uh, 177 or 22. So I'm assuming they mean in sub 12 foot bound air guns. Um, it depends a little bit on what you're doing. Now that's quite an open ended question. You know, if you're a field target guy or a HFT guy, you're going to swear by 177 because you've got that nice flat trajectory, makes judging your holdovers and your dialing that little bit more forgiving. That does carry over into hunting, you know, when you're judging your holdovers and that 177 being flatter. I do find though that 22 does hit with a lot more force, um, especially on things like rats and rabbits. You know, a 177 is quite e easy to go through and through, whereas a 22, it just imparts that little bit more energy, or a lot more energy on what you're shooting and does knock it down that bit easier. Um, so it's sort of horses for courses, what you prefer. Um, what I will say is a lot of people poo-hoo two two because of its um, more it's more pronounced arc. Um, again, it's one of those things. If you can learn it, you'll be fine. So again, it's it's personal preference really, and what you're comfortable with. Um, next question: Do you need camo gear? Um, I think it depends on what you're hunting. If I'm being honest, um, I think most camo gear is designed for humans so we can think that we're looking good looking you know looking the part as a hunter or looking all tactical up 
Um, personally, in my experience, you don't need full camo stuff. A hat and gloves is usually good, especially for hunting at night. You know, get some light off your face, cover your hands. They're the main things that give you away. You know, most animals they don't necessarily see in colour. You know, they use things like smell. In it. They use senses like smell and their hearing to gauge whether you're there or not. So, for the most part, I don't think camo is needed. For certain quarry, yeah, it's, you know, it does help, you know, birds and things that can see in colour, it will, you'll notice a difference there. But for the most part, I think most of it's designed to hunt your wallet as opposed to make you a better hunter. Next question, MOA or MRAD? This one is, get asked that quite a lot over the phone, especially when a scope is made in both options. Um, it's ultimately it's down to personal preference. The difference between the two is they're the same principle of how much you're adjusting your point of aim by, but one's metric and one's imperial. MOA being imperial in inches and MRAD or mils uh, done in centimeters being the metric version. Um, again, it's personal preference. Functionally, you're not necessarily going to notice a lot. If you're doing very fine stuff, yeah, very fine bench rest, um, very long range shooting where you need it as precise as possible, I would probably say that MOA has you better served there because you can get a finer adjustment when you start going to the 1 8th or even 1 16th style clicks. Um, but yeah, as I said, ultimately, it's a personal preference. So next question, second focal plane or first focal plane. What that's referring to is um, where your reticule is in the scope. And it is literally on which plane of the, it's a bit above my head really to try and explain that. Um, practically what it means is second focal plane, most common and most used type of reticule. And the reticule, when you're looking at it, regardless of what you do to the magnification, it stays the same. It doesn't change size, it doesn't scale with the magnification, it just looks the same as you're looking through it. What this means though, is your point of impact won't change as you change your magnification. But if you've got drop downs like mill dots or hash marks, their value will change as you move through your magnification range. Um, so why would you go for a second focal plane? Well, it tends to allow you to have a finer reticule. Um, they're easier to manufacture and so scopes with them tend to be cheaper. Um, you tend to find a lot of hunters like them, bench rest guys like them as well, um, because again, you get that very fine, precise reticule. Uh, first focal plane then, what that means is the reticule is going to scale with your magnification. So it will grow and shrink. Again, your point of impact won't change. What will change is as your magnification increases, the reticule seems to zoom in or get larger. What this means is that all your hash marks, your mill dots, or say you've got Christmas tree style, all those values stay the same regardless of what magnification that you use. Quite popular with longer, long range target shooters, stuff like that where they've got to use holdovers and do you know that sort of Kentucky style windage with them. What that means is that at low mags though, it can be nigh on an unusable reticule. And at high mags, it can be quite a thick reticule. And so it can obscure part of what you're looking at. So you, as I said, they tend to be popular with long range target shooters. FT guys, they seem to be divided sort of between having one or the other, I think. For them, it's more of a personal preference and a depends on the scope type of thing. Um, 
but so sort of in short second focal plane is your hunting bench rest style of reticule first focal plane it's your long range target um, style reticule both can be used for hunting realistically but it, it just depends on what you want out of your scope well that's the last question for today i hope you guys enjoyed that and remember comment down below or any other questions all right cheers guys see you later